Hello friends, welcome to ASP.NET tutorial. Now we are at the second part of the sub-series, list based data binding. That's what we are going to see here in this video. In the last video, we learned about the collections and data source control. List based controls are good examples for simple data binding and that's what we are going to do here. Here we will supply in memory data. Examples for list based controls are list box, drop down list and radio button list. So these are all the best examples to learn the simple data binding which make use of in-memory collection. For these controls, data binding can be done using the data source property. So all these list based controls, list box, drop down list, radio button list supports data source property and to that data source property we can supply in memory data or we can make use of the SQL data source or data specific data source control and supply that but here in this sub series we will learn about the in memory data this property accepts collection as a value that means here we are talking about the data source property this property accepts collection as a value and generates relevant tags when rendering the control for the browser so this is the server side control right we know that it's a asp.net control right and we know that asp.net controls are server side controls and it will generate the HTML tags and that will be pushed to your web browser. Right. So that's what here we are talking. Uh, this property, that means data source property, accepts a collection as a value and generates relevant tags when rendering the control for the browser. In the next video, we will look at the example for simple data binding. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.